Hey there, YouTube fam. Today, we're diving into configuring channels on a Televis, Arantia series head end, and broadcasting them on an IPTV system. But first, let's understand the hardware setup. A satellite antennas, LNB, low noise block down converter, is connected to a transmitter device via two coaxial cables, one for the signal, and one for power to the LNB. The transmitter converts the coaxial cable signals into light which then travels through fiber optic cables to an IPTV system rack. At the rack, a quad optical converter reverses the process, converting the light back into coaxial signals. These signals are then distributed through a multi-switch to the head end for broadcasting. Please ensure that the distance between the LNB and the transmitter on the roof does not exceed 10 meters and is at a maximum of 15 meters. Once the hardware setup is completed, let's configure the head end. The device receives digital services through the multi switch for IP packet encapsulation and streaming through an IPTV network. To configure the head end, open any web browser and type the IP address of the head end. The login screen will appear, and you can log into the head end by entering your login credentials. Here, you will find the number of modules installed in the head end. To connect the coaxial cable from the multi switch, as you can see, I have six modules connected. This means that each module can be connected to four cables, allowing for a total of 24 frequencies to be configured. Each frequency can have multiple channels, which we will explore shortly. To configure the input frequency, navigate to the Inputs section, and click on Digital TV. Here, you will find an individual port for each module. To configure the frequency, click on the Edit symbol. However, I have already configured some frequencies for some of the ports. To find which ports are used, and which ones are free, for further configuration, right click on Outputs, and select Open in New Tab. Then, expand the output, and click on IP List. The Digital TV Channels list will appear, where you can find the card used, modules, and port numbers in the card column. For example, I have used card 01A for the BBC One channel, and so on. I can see that I have not used 6D, so let's go back to Inputs and edit 6D. The Port Configuration window will appear. Click on Configure. A warning message will appear, stating that currently streamed services, and alarms from this transponder will be stopped. Click on OK to continue. Here, you need to configure the frequency for the channel. To find the frequencies for any channel, open a new tab, and search for your satellite name followed by Lingsat. For example, I will search Badarsat 26E Lingsat. And open the first link. Here, you will find all the channels related to that satellite, and their frequencies. For example, if I want to configure Alcas Sports channels, I will search for those. The frequency is 10770H and the system SR is DVBS28PSK. Note these values, and then go back to the head-end configuration page. Click the checkbox to enable the channel, and enter the channel frequency. Make sure to enter three additional zeros after the frequency. Do not change the symbol rate, and note that the LNB voltage should be 13 if your frequency is in H, or else change it to 18 from the drop-down list. If your frequency is L, then change the modulation to 8 PSK, if your channel's system SR is DVBS2, or else change it to 16 PSK, if your system SR is DVBS. Then, select the satellite number as per your physical setup. For example, in my case, the Badar SAT is connected to SAT number 3 on the multi switch. Once you complete the configuration, click on Submit and wait for some time to tune the head end. Once everything is perfect, you will see all the channels for the configured frequency. As you can see, we have found multiple channels, such as Qatar TV HD, 
LCAS 1 HD, LCAS 2 HD, and more. To add these channels for broadcasting in the IPTV system, click on the plus symbol. Once you click on the plus symbol, the channel will be added to the list. Once you complete adding the channels, go back to the Outputs section, and then click on IP List. The newly added channels will appear in the list at the bottom, as you can see on my screen. Now, to broadcast these channels on the network, you need to add them to the broadcasting server, known as middleware. The server is responsible for distributing interactive services to IPTV devices through a powerful intuitive interface. Open a new tab in the browser, and type the IP address of the middleware. Log into the server using your user credentials, and the home page will appear. Navigate to the channel section from the left side menu. Select channel list, and the list of added channels will appear. To add new channels, click on New. Enter the channel name. Channel IP address. And port number. Then, select the language and packages for the channel. Finally, click on Save. Before that, let me show you what will happen on the TV side while we are saving the channel. Let me bring the TV on the screen. As you can see, once I click on Save, it shows that your channels have changed. After the newly added channel appears on the list, like this, you can make configurations for multiple channels. And there you have it. You've successfully learned how to configure your IPTV system, starting from the installation of the dish antenna all the way to setting up your TV. If you need any further assistance or have any questions regarding IPTV configuration, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're here to help. Also, remember that we have a complete playlist available on our channel, covering all the steps and videos for setting up your IPTV system. From the initial dish antenna alignment to configuring frequencies and broadcasting channels, you'll find everything you need to know. We hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and helpful content. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.